Hello, hello, bringing you greetings from Shield of Faith Christian Center in the wonderful city of Ontario with our Honorable Apostle Henry B. Alexander and Bishop Marty Alexander, along with the entire team of the Global Children's Ministry. We bring you greetings, young saints. We are teaching and talking about the armor of God. And we have already gone over the helmet of salvation and the shield of faith. Today, we are going to be speaking on the breastplate of righteousness and the belt of truth. Now, there's that word again, truth. So it must be really important to tell the truth. Nevertheless, young saints, we are going to go into our lesson. But before we do... Let's have a moment of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you and we praise you for bringing us together again, Lord. We ask that you would just bless the children all over the world, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for just allowing them to be a part of this ministry. We thank you for this ministry. We thank you for the parents and the teachers. Lord, we just thank you for allowing us to come together. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. All right, so without further ado, we are going to make sure that we have our supplies. You got your supplies? I got mine. All my pencils and my markers and my paper because I want to take some notes. So you make sure you take some notes. And if you have any questions, please don't forget, put all your questions in the chat box. All right. And we're going to answer you in the chat box. Okay. Well, we hope that you enjoy our lesson for this season. God bless. Ephesians chapter 6 verses 10 through 17. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins skirts about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparations of gospel of peace, above all taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take unto you the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Hi right, kids and praise the Lord. I hope that you all enjoyed your day today and that you enjoyed all of the wonderful lessons from Minister Glenn, Minister Thomas, Mr. Williams. Yes, and I want you to enjoy the rest of your day. But before you go, receive this wonderful prayer. Yes, Lord Jesus, we thank you for waking all of us up this morning. We thank you for your great and supernatural grace, your abundantly rich mercy, and your great and special, unusual, and miraculous favor. Thank you for your unspeakable gift. Thank you for supplying all of our needs daily according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Now, Lord Jesus, cover and protect all of these wonderful children. Cover and protect all of them. And I speak cancellation of all of the plans. And assignments of Lucifer, the devil, against you and your family's cancellation in Jesus' name. And I decree the will of God over you right now, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord Jesus. Yes, yeah, says the Lord Jesus, thoughts of peace and other evil to give you an expected end. I decree the will of God over all you right now. And I decree that your means shall be met daily, even during this pandemic season. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus cover and protect all of them. Bless them and their families. Bless them and cover them and protect them daily. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, kids. Be blessed and enjoy your day. Bye. Hi, 
everybody. We're here to tell you that Jesus, Jesus loves you. you. No matter what. So sing along with us. The words are on the screen. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Taking children on his knee, saying, let them come to me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember, us. Jesus love loves you. us. Jesus loves us. Hey, Shield of Faith kids, did you put your armor on today? Hi, Mom. I love you. Hi, kids. How are you today? We're so glad that you came back to be with us once again. Once again, I'm Minister Viola Thomas, and we're going to be talking about, do you remember our last lesson? It was talking about the armor of God. Putting on the armor of God making sure that we are covered and we are protected and we are in his army. Do you, did you put on your armor this week? Do you have your armor on now? Are you ready? Hut, two, three, four, hut, two. Are you ready to be in God's army? I'm ready. And I'm so glad to be talking about the armor of God. We are coming to you from Ephesians, the sixth chapter and the 10th through the 18th verse. Get your paper, your pencils, get your Bible. You can look it up. It'll be great to follow along. All right, now today we're gonna to be talking about a little bit of a review of what we went over before. Do you remember? Do you remember what we talked about we talked about, what was the name? Something like, yeah, the name of our church. The Shield of Faith. The Shield of Faith is a part of the armor of God and it protects us. And we wanna know, are, did you use your shield this week? Did you use your shield? We hope that you did. Let's think about it. How do we activate the shield? How do we begin to allow our shield to work for us? Well, we have to believe. We have to say, I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe God. He's so wonderful and he protects us and he helps us each and every day. And the second part of the armor was the helmet of salvation. The helmet of salvation. It covers us, it's help us to think like Jesus thinks. It helps us to learn. It helps us to follow our teachers, our parents. It helps us each and every day. It allows us to have the mind of God and it allows us to agree and be what God wants us to be. We want to follow authority and we want to say, yes, sir, unto the Lord, I am saved. I am saved. This is an agreement we make with ourselves and we're going to follow God and we're going to do what he would have us to do. We're going to the third part of our armor today. Are you ready? It's a new one. It's called the breastplate, breastplate of righteousness. It has a word in there, a word that we're familiar with, right? We want to do the right thing. We want to always follow. And remember, we love to do the right thing. We put our heart into it. And we protect our heart by putting on that breastplate. Can you put on your breastplate right now? 
Can you cover yourself, your vital organs, your heart, your lungs, and do the things that God wants you to do? The breastplate of righteousness. You don't want to do the wrong thing. You want to do the right thing. And you love to do the right thing. We want to say that all this week. We want to activate our armor and we want to do the right thing. We're going to see you next week. We hope you have a good week. Bye now, kids. Bye. Hi, kids, and praise the Lord. God bless you all abundantly today. Our scripture memorization comes from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13, which says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Yes, we are all supposed to stand by faith. All right, kids, enjoy all of the wonderful anointed teachings today and i'll see you later to me jesus is my healer to me jesus is my savior to me jesus is my favorite person in the whole world to me jesus is my best friend hi boys and girls i'm pastor geneva some call me mom newman i hope you enjoyed your lesson today I'm going to do what we call an altar call. I'm going to lead you in a prayer of repentance and a prayer asking the Lord to cover you if you desire to accept Christ in your life as your personal Savior. That can be explained to you further by your parents. So at this time, bow your heads and let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the lesson that we heard on today. Lord, we pray that you help us to grow by the word that we're hearing. We're asking you, Lord, to forgive us of every sin, anything that we have done that was not according to the word of God. We ask you to forgive us, Lord. And Lord, we are praying that if we have not accepted you in our lives as our Savior, Give us an understanding of what it means to be saved, what it means to live for Christ. And we thank you and we praise you and we give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Goodbye.